This is one of my rewards from hosting a party over a year ago, and I do not regret this purchase. I think this is something every Pampered Chef lover should have in their kitchen. Um, the slow cooker stand is amazing. Um, I just used it today. This cooked for eight hours. I just dumped all the water out and we just made sandwiches. But it's um, Italian beef with uh, pepperoncini. I haven't been feeling very well lately, so I stayed home sick, went to the doctor, and um, on the way home I stopped at the grocery store and I wanted something simple so that I could just go lay down after making some food. So I found this packet, Italian beef au jus seasoning, Italian beef made easy. So I threw that in there, followed the directions with three quarter cup of water to mix the packet and um, a three pound um, beef roast. I got a, a bread and butter roast and it was just slightly over three pounds and put it in there with the mix and then I finished filling it up with water to cover the top and then I grabbed some hoagie buns, provolone cheese, and pepperoncinis. This is my first time cooking with pepperoncinis but they're pretty good. Um, so yeah, we made sandwiches for dinner. I'm pretty excited about that. So um, it took a little over eight hours and I put it on the low setting. It could have probably, it would have taken way less time if I put it on the high setting. But what I did was, um, after that was done, I really didn't even have to shred it. It fell apart. And, um, pardon me, my kitchen's a mess, but I saved the juice here. Because I'm going to see, it might be worth dipping my sandwich in, I'm not sure yet. But, um, so yeah, I didn't have to do any work. The thing just fell apart, it was juicy. Um, this work works wonderful. And then I took some hoagie buns, put them in a pan, and uh, put it under the broiler with some provolone cheese on it for just a little bit, and then made the sandwich. Um, so yeah, you guys should definitely check this out. Um, this comes out, and uh, it's like a casserole dish. You can use it in the oven, you can use it on the stove top, and you can use it in the microwave. I've made a microwave um, cake with it before, and it was really good. And um, you can put this thing in the freezer. You can put it in the fridge. It's dishwasher safe. And you can even use this thing on the grill, except for the lid. The grid lid, I guess, is not um, safe to certain temperatures on the grill. But um, yeah, that is definitely a good purchase. And of course, you can see my beautiful quick cooker I got back there as a hostess incentive for my party I had this year. I love it. So, don't mind me. I'm here in my pajamas and it's uh, like 8.30 now. Sometimes I even eat later. I'm actually a night shift nurse so I'm up at really weird times even on my, my days off but I'm actually hoping to go to bed since I'm not feeling too well. Um, here soon if I can get myself to fall asleep. It's hard when you work night shift. But anyway, so yeah, I'm now eating dinner. Uh, my husband just started eating his and um, he, he made three. Um, he doesn't normally like get that crazy about all the food I make and stuff, but he uh, really liked this one. So, uh, mm. It's really good, guys. And also, I don't eat, like a lot of spicy, but I like a little bit of a kick. I've never cooked with pepperoncinis before, but um, it's not too spicy, so it's, it's doable. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, which is perfect for me. Um, Provolone was perfect on it. And that bread and butter roast just like fell apart. So, so good. So yeah, highly recommended. If you liked this video, please hit subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and share, and um, comment below if uh, you have a really good Italian beef or like a French dip sandwich recipe. I'd like to try some uh, a French dip sandwich here pretty soon. Thanks for watching.